how awesome is this everyone managed to just spot one of the pride members but now I'm just I'm keeping quiet I'm keeping my distance there's some Inyala moving through the bush behind us um, and as you can see this lion's absolutely not interested <laughs> but I don't know where the rest of the pride is I'm going to move around um, shortly I'm just gonna wait a few minutes so there's Inyala we can't see them from where we are now but they're just moving through all the edge of the thicket and fortunately for us I think the, the the idea that we had of them possibly moving around a little bit in this in the cool afternoon I think that's worked out for in our favor oh, isn't this awesome oh, what a surprise I'm so so happy about this I was getting a bit worried at one stage just shows you driving backwards and forwards checking the area and I as I said, I'm sure they're in these either drainage lines or blocks. I don't know if they made a kill. I'm going to try and have a look around this area very carefully. Ah, oh, beautiful. No, you look at those bellies. or well, that belly is still very, very thin. I don't know where the rest of them are. I'm sure I saw another one behind the termite mound. Oh, look, it's a male. Now, I wonder, was this not the male and female that Tara had this morning? And if it is, they've moved quite a distance then. Wonderful, this is possibly this mating pair. So I'm not sure, maybe some of you can let me know, is this the same male and female they had? I would assume it is. Yeah, <laughs> look at that, oh, awesome. This is wonderful. I'm sure all of you are as excited as I am. Let me move around here quickly. Hold on. Now they're going down to the dam. Now there's a possibility uh, if there is something. I, I don't think there's anything down at the dam. Or actually there is. I can see some impala and that in the distance. I'm going to keep a distance away from these lions. I'm going to park in a position where we can view them. And then maybe, maybe we luck and we see these lions make a kill now the problem with this is this male might interfere with the female trying to hunt so we'll see what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna park where we can probably see them and what's down at the dam this is very exciting everyone that can see she's that female already spotted animals down at the dam and uh, I'm sure some of you watching the dam cam at the moment too now let's just see what she decides to do she may decide to lie down and she has she has okay so I'm gonna move a little bit closer so we can get a view of them and that male is not letting her out of his sight <laughs> Typical male. <laughs> now I'm just going to park here so I don't obscure their view of the dam and that we can at least have a lovely view of them. So I wonder if this is indeed the pair that was seen this morning. But you can see this lioness does look hungry. The other thing that might happen is perhaps these lions lead us to the other to the pride, but what often happens is the males and females or a pair of lions, if they are potentially mating, they will split away from the pride for a period of time. Now, if they are mating, I don't know if they definitely are. I don't know if they mated this morning. And um, perhaps this male is trying his luck to see if the female's in estrus. He possibly thinks she is. Okay, so I, so I know you didn't see, apparently you didn't see this pair mating, so I'm not sure if they've started yet, but once they start, it could be between anything between three days to a week that this pair will stay together and potentially mate. Um, and then once they have mated for, for that length of time, the female re will return to the pride. And the male may then go on and continue his business with marking territory, meeting up perhaps with the brothers from the coalition, or possibly staying with the pride. Lisa, you say it's a beautiful picture. It is indeed. 
is indeed lovely. Now, again, I'm very curious for those of you who watched this morning. Is this the same pair that you saw? Is it the same pair? Is this a different pair? And the only reason I'm asking is because they're in a completely different area to where Tara was looking this morning, uh, this afternoon, um, or where they found them this morning. Uh, not to say they didn't move around, but I just want to make sure if it's a new pair, or if it's a, the same pair or a different pair. <laughs> Lisa, you say she doesn't look interested in him. No, she looks hungry. <laughs> Rise up, you say, they have to be made to look at the state of her neck. Um, I don't know so much, Rise up, I don't know. Let's have, try and have a good look. Um, yeah, um, I see what you're saying, now with the binoculars. does look like she, the, the scruff of the back of her neck is slightly moist, a bit of perhaps saliva now the reason why we're talking about this is because when they are mating the males the males will often bite the back of the necks of the female the reason for that is because the mating process is actually quite painful for the female so the male does it one to try and relax the female and the theory is that it it, it goes hand in hand with when they are cubs um, the females you know carrying the cubs by the scruff of the neck it is said to relax the lion, so the one theory is that it helps relax them, and then the other thing is that it prevents the female from turning around and smacking the male, which can happen because of it, it is quite painful. And we see it especially with leopards. Leopards, females will turn around when the male does dismount off the, off the female. The female will turn around and smack the male, and it does happen from time to time with lions too. Now, excuse me a second. I just want to call this in um, for the other... Um, vehicles around, they were also looking for lions. Let me just uh, give an update. Okay, sorry, there you know. Uh, other guides talking. Isn't that a lovely view though? Look at that. Beck, you say it's date night for these lions, perhaps a, a kill, um, moonlit dinner. <laughs> oh dear, Beck, you've been watching too many movies. <laughs> okay, let me just call this in quickly. Uh, Henry, do you copy Henry? Uh, Henry, I uh, managed to locate on this pair, um, this male and female, and they are now just to the to the east of uh, Gari Dam. Yeah, affirmative. Just come along and we'll be right uh, right next to it. I'm not sure who else was uh, looking. Um, Rexon, do you copy Rexon? Okay, copy and make your way as a third. Aubrey managed to locate on this male and female, uh, the, the lions from this morning, and they just to the east of uh, Gauri Dam at the moment. Well, this is such a nice surprise. So not the pride that we were looking for, but it doesn't matter. Always great, always great to see these lions. 
Now, I'm sorry, Tara, I know you were looking for these lines. But, again, I'm still trying to find out if this is the same pair. I think it must be. But I'm not sure yet. Maybe Tara can let us know if it was the male with the very light mane. Uh, let's go across, and she's got some kudu she'd like to show you.